Once, the world belonged to the oceans. For hundreds of millions of years, life lived and died beneath the waves, unseen by sky or sun. But change was coming. The Silurian period gave way to something new, a time of transition, of ambition, of bold evolutionary steps. In the shallows, armored fish ruled with jaws of innovation. Above, tiny green pioneers, mosses and primitive plants crept across barren stone. Roots gripped rock, leaves drank sunlight, and the land for the first time in Earth's history, turned green. The Devonian period, the age of fishes, began not with conquest, but with curiosity. Lobe-finned fish explored the muddy edges of rivers. Some developed lungs, limbs, the blueprint of legs. They were the early tetrapods, the first vertebrates to breathe air, to touch land, to look up at the sky. In the seas, evolution surged. Sharks sliced through reefs, placoderms, armored giants, clashed in ancient waters. But change brings cost. Near the end of the Devonian, Earth shifted again. A mysterious extinction swept the reefs. Climate wavered, oxygen dropped, Life faltered. And then a forest rose. In the Carboniferous, life conquered the land. Towering lycopods and giant ferns reached skyward, forming the planet's first great forest thick with humidity and shadow. These jungles remade the air itself. Photosynthesis surged. Oxygen flooded the atmosphere, reaching levels Earth may never see again. With every breath, the world grew more flammable. Lightning ignited the trees, and fire was born. The Carboniferous was not just an age of trees and flame. It was a crucible, a proving ground, a moment when life at last found its footing on Earth. In the green shadows of ancient forests, the seeds of the future were planted. And though fire would fall again, Life had taken root. This was the age of forest and flame. And the story of life was just beginning to burn. <laughs>